The Executive Secretary of the National Universities Commission, Professor Abubakar Rashid, said the Commission will not support plans by Vice Chancellors of Public Universities to run six week crash programs to make up for the lost period of the prolonged strike by the academic staff union of universities. The NUC boards gave the indication at an interactive session with the media in Abuja as part of the programs marking the 60th anniversary of the commission. Rashid, who described the ASO strike as the biggest threat to stability of the nation's university calendar, explained that there is hardly any two federal universities with the same academic calendar because of the disruption caused by union strike. He insisted that the commission would not compromise standard as the vice chancellors had been directed to ensure that a semester lasts 17 weeks. We have met with the vice chancellors and we gave them the, uh, the directives never to go back after this child truncate and cut short the semesters and say because there was child eight months they will now want to run your second semester in four weeks or five weeks because you are eager for students to complete then you send them out then they come back and register and you have more money for them we say for the quality assurance perspective we redefine semester to them that a semester is a 17 week period of teaching and exams teaching and examination should last 17 weeks so when you have two semesters in one year means 17 plus 17 34 weeks out of 52 weeks in a year means you have 18 weeks left the interface with the nuc leadership as expected address other crucial issues that affect the nation's university system especially in the appointment of vice chancellors we are facing very serious challenges today is different from yesterday every day is challenges here and there we are having very serious challenges from our big bosses sometimes from our colleagues from our universities from this and we are working together let us just work together and see that this place survives because the survival of NUC in its true spirit is the survival of universities. And our survival of our universities in this country is the survival of our future as a country. Rajiv also spoke on collaboration with the ICPC to weed out illegal universities. We are doing our best. The ICPC has been assisting us. We continue to do our best. We continue to publicize the list of approved universities. We continue to to get sometimes we get money by admission uh, forms and get process. Then we order the admission, then we have evidence. This is an unapproved university, illegal university, and we now have evidence. So we take them to ICPC. Because if we say we must fight, I mean, we don't even know how many there are. It's only when our attention is brought. We tend to know how many illegal universities spring up. We don't know. It is by accident sometimes people ask us if this university approved. We just check. We say, well, it's not. How is it operating? They say it's in this place, that place. So we send our people. And then when we have evidence, then our committee on illegal degree means takes over and then gets them to ICPC. The NUC has licensed 75 universities in the six years tenure of Professor Rashid leadership, CNN News.